In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply binomials together using a method called distributing. The idea behind distributing is that when we see something in front of parentheses, we can distribute it onto each term inside the next parentheses. Here, we're doing 4x plus 7y times 3x minus 2y. You'll notice the 4x plus 7y is in front of another set of parentheses. So we will distribute it onto first 3x. As we do, we'll write that 3x being multiplied by the 4x plus 7y. We also want to distribute the 4x plus 7y onto the negative 2y. We see the negative 2y, then, is multiplied by the 4x plus 7y. Notice now we see this 4x plus 7y with the 3x and the negative 2y. This sets up another simple type of distributing. Distributing the 3x through parentheses, giving us 12x squared plus 21xy, and distributing the negative 2y through the next set of parentheses, giving us negative 8xy minus 14y squared. We are then allowed to combine like terms to give us, in the middle here, the like terms xy, 21xy, and negative 8xy, to give us 12x squared plus 21 minus 8 is 13xy, minus 14y squared, and we have our solution. Let's try this multiply by distributing method on the second example. This time, we're multiplying 2x minus y by the 4x minus 5y. Again, we will grab that first parentheses and distribute it into the next set of parentheses. First, it is multiplied by the 4x, and so we will see the 4x multiplied by the 2x minus y. Then we distribute it also onto the negative 5y. So we have negative 5y being multiplied by the 2x minus y. Again, it is set up to distribute a second time. Distributing the 4x through, 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times negative y is negative 4xy. Distribute the negative 5 through, negative 10xy, and negative 5y times negative y is positive 5y squared. Again, we have some like terms that we can combine negative 10xy and negative 4xy. When we do that, we have 8x squared minus 14xy plus 5y squared as our final solution. The idea of multiplying by distributing is we take that first polynomial and distribute it onto each term in the second polynomial. Then, when we distribute again, we can combine like terms and arrive at our final solution.